Hi, violin parents. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about tuning the violin. I know we did this in our parent meetings at the beginning of the year, but I just want to make sure as your kids are practicing on their own now that they know um, or that you know how to get their instrument in tune so that they can practice effectively. So on the violin, the top string is E. And it should say, it should have a little five next to it. That's going to tell you that it's the right E. So this is registering the right, the right letter, but it's telling me it's a little high. Um, so what I'm going to do first is go through all the strings and make sure they're close to the right letter, because if I need to turn the pegs at all, there's a chance that the strings might move a little bit. So I'm not going to be too picky the first time through. So then the next string should be an A, which this is telling me it's a G. So the music alphabet goes A through G, and then it goes back to A. So that means that it's a note, it's a whole note lower than it needs to be. So I'm gonna take this peg, this is the A peg, and I'm gonna turn it up as I'm plucking it. You always wanna be plucking it because you wanna be watching where it goes. The way that we break a string is either that a string is already compromised and is gonna break anyway, or um, it's being turned higher than it's supposed to be. So we wanna make sure that we don't go past the A. So I'm gonna pluck the string, I'm gonna turn the peg and press in a little bit towards the center of the instrument. So now it says A, but there's a little flat next to it. I don't know if you can see that, but that means I'm almost there. that gave me even green for a second so that means I'm close so I'm gonna leave it there and then the D is right on so that should say D4 and then this one will say G3 so that one's giving me a green so that is pretty close to in tune and would be close enough for the kids to practice if you want to be really picky about it which is great we encourage that if you're feeling like you are calm and want to take that to the next level you can go back through even with the bow is actually an even more effective way to do it. It's gonna register much clearer with the bow. So that's telling me that that E is right on and then the A also. So the D could come down just a little bit. So there we go. So all I did was really gently just kind of tug on the string. If it's really close, that'll be enough. Most of your instruments have fine tuners on all the strings. So you could also turn a little bit there. If you're turning the tuner towards a higher string, it's going to make it higher. If you're turning it towards a lower string, it's going to make it lower. This violin doesn't have them on the lower three strings. So that's why I just did that tug to see if I could get it. And then the G. So that's registering a teeny bit high also. So there we go. Now it's in tune and I'm ready to play.